I saw an orangutan hanging by a branch of a tree that was felled by a big, big machine in National Geographic magazine. That was very symbolic how human beings are destroying nature. And when you destroy nature, you are committing suicide in a sense. Humanity will perish or not perish, I don't know. The blackberries that climbed up and down the hill, the golden rod, see the plant imagery now. The golden rod, the honeysuckle are gone. Blackberries gone. Golden rod gone. Honeysuckle gone. Pink roses gone. Fox tracks gone. Fox tracks. Jungle ban is all out, so I'm not going to allow the land itself has been kept against the poisons that have been seeping all these years into the ground. Poisons seeping into the ground when you throw garbage, it gets into the ground from the fires, elements cast away, oils. Spilling on the ground. Somebody throws oil. Paints hmm, thrown. Car batteries. Now look. Look, modern imagery. Imagery of modernity. Imagery of modernity. You can write a paper on this essay. Nature versus culture. A study of images in Mary Jane Oliver's essay, Waste, Land and Elegy. Beautiful term paper. Nature versus culture. A study of imagery in Mary Jane Oliver's essay, Waste, Land and Energy. And you focus on, just focus on imagery only. Nothing, just imagery. Paints and car batteries and a hundred offensive substances more. And imagine for what unaware years I picked the blackberries and the raspberries and thought them sweet and fine. Oh, she says that I ate berries that contain the poison of thrown garbage. I didn't realize. Thought them good fortune and found on the rubbled hillsides strange shapes of old jar. See the imagery. Glass bent and reshaped. See the culture imagery. Culture imagery. Images representing de development. Oh, she is yawning. Miss Baral is yawning and making me lazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Baral, if, if I sound lazy, right? But I'm not lazy. I'm not feeling lazy. I'm quite energetic, right? When I come to class, I enjoy being with you. And I don't feel lazy. And I feel, over, I feel excited to study. And I'm sorry I made you feel lazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you feel lazy. What could I do? Huh? Okay. And found on the rubble hillsides strange shapes of the old jars, glass bent and reshaped by the flames. Glass reshaped by flame. There was flame and the glass was burned, melted. The glass melted. Nuggets of deep blue from medicine containers. Once a glass airplane that originally held candy with a chip missing from one wing. But this is an elegy. He repeats, but this is an elegy, a part of the book of not wanting to let go. Not, I did not want to let it go, but I had no way, so I let it go. But I decided not to let it go, so I wrote the essay. So I wrote the essay. I said, no, I won't let it go. So I wrote the essay. I said, no, 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 no. I can't let it go. I must do something. So I wrote the essay. Essay report to person. Right? <laughs> that enthusiasm, right? <laughs> I don't know how far we read. Okay. Not wanting to let it go and go it must. See the, see the irony, see the tragedy. I did not want to let nature go. But it must go. 
because nature has to accommodate with development nature has to accommodate with development mero gaun ma 300 barsha purano people ko chautari nalai gaun le le kate main camera bhande chu mai unar lai hera invite pani garchu bhare gara facebook ma hera bhanchu maile mera gaun ka nalayak haru le 300 barsha purana people ka rukh haru kate mera gaun ka nalayak haru le 300 barsha purana samik rukh kate मेरा गाँव का नालायक धेरे चौतारा मसे सीध्याए खने सीध्याई दिए चेतनाबीन नालायक घास खाने सीध्या छन का मेरे घर देखि नजिक दुई सौ वर्ष भाई पुरान आप को रुख थियो थियो काटे सय वर्ष पुरानी पुरानो पोखरी थियो मसे एटा सौ वर्ष पुरानों पोखर तो पुरे तीन को चौतारो बना तीन को तीन को मत तीन छो तीन पर बर को रुख भी तीन हाल रुख तो हम शीतल दिन कि तीन चाहिए नालायक मैमरा बंद मेरे गाँव का नालायक जिस चेतना छेन के चेतना छेन कि एटा रुख लुल ग्रोन होना सौ वर्ष लग् काटना सौ मिनट लगे काट कस्तो म इमोशनल भाई क्या गाँव समझे राइट नट वांटिंग टू लेट गो एंड गो इट मस्ट एंड गो इट हैज सी द पोइटिक लैंग्वेज सी द पोइटिक लैंग्वेज पोइटिक लैंग्वेज जस्ट पोजिशन अफ भोकैबलरी नट वांटिंग टू लेट इट गो एंड गो इट मस्ट and go it has the pink roses gone the toad with gold rimmed eyes gone the young boys and bikes who in fact are men now even the tires are gone the town government has made it it's not no look here this is the accidents 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 what What made this response? Here is the answer. The town government has made its not unreasonable decision. See, rationality versus emotion. Look the language there. What to say? Unreasonable, not unreasonable. This is satire. She says not unreasonable, and she means unreasonable, not unreasonable decision. The decision. What decision? Sixty thousand new tourists are coming, uh, and we need to adapt for them. So we need civil system. We cannot continue with the failing cesspools. Look, these cesspools are gone. We cannot condone seepage into the water supply or into the into the blue harbor that lies along the town's frontage. And we are so many. See, in grade twelve, if you read old English course, you read they say. Too long term problems, too many, too many, too few trees, too many people. By Moti Nisani, in Grade Twelve, the book, in the the Heritage of English or something, Heritage of Words, Heritage of Words. There, he says that we are too many. Look, we are, we are too many. Therefore, they are too few. There are too many people, so too too few trees. In many, in 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 May the month, in May the Mukherjee flowers blossomed. Past tense, like the past tense, not blossoms blossomed. Even in this thin soil, extravagantly they stood in gatherings of six or seven, like small simile, simile, like simile. When you make rhetorical analysis, one important thing is you pay attention to language. One important thing you do in rhetorical analysis, you pay attention to language, and under language you look for diction, 